Welcome to another Hops and Vines Beer Reviews. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'm here with my good buddy Brian Pesci tonight. It's happening. Uh, another resident beer fanatic. Big time. Um, Brian helps pour the tastings here on Friday nights uh, fairly often. And, Big uh, hair celeb. Yep. <laughs> and looking forward to brewing with you on Wednesday too. Me too, man. It's gonna be fun. We're going to brew a Kolsch. But we're going to get down to business today with a little bit more of a serious beer. The uh, New Belgium Lips of Faith Coca Mole, um, and just real quick, a little bit on the uh, the Lips of Faith series that New Belgium does. It's a small batch brew that they do, very limited release. It can range from really one-off Belgian styles to sour beers, which they've done a lot of uh, sour beers with the Lips of Faith series. Um, but this particular one, the Coca Mole, it's definitely in the spice beer category. If you want to categorize it, it's uh, a malty brown ale uh, brewed with a variety of, uh, of peppers. They use ancho, and I'm going to let you pronounce this. Guajillo. Guajillo, uh, chipotle peppers, and uh, says it has a you know caramel and chocolate uh, flavors in there. They definitely do use um, probably cocoa nibs or um, an unrefined form of chocolate in there. So there's chocolate and a blend of. Uh, Mexican style peppers and the, the mole, which is a traditional Mexican sauce. I'm really excited about this. Um, I've heard yeah, awesome. Too. I've heard really good things. Me as well. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna beer. dig we're gonna dig right into this and, and, and check it out. Definitely in that aroma. Some some of the spice right up front. It's got a uh, very ruby color, tan white persistent head on there. Darkish, definitely. More in the, almost borderlining a brown ale. Slightly short color-wise of a brown ale. The aroma is just amazing. Like, yeah, the, that's what the complexity going on there. Um, I am getting... A little spice, kind of like tastes a, like uh, cinnamon. chili powder, a little cinnamon, a little... Yeah. It, it, it does, um, it does have a distinct cinnamon note on the nose but I'm actually it's amazing because I'm actually when I when I inhale uh, through my nostrils on this beer it's um, I can almost get that pepper fire in the mm -hmm. back of my Big you time. know you can you can actually feel the peppers in the back of your of your uh, your palate without even tasting it I'm already feeling the beer yeah <laughs> really interesting totally. um, so this the, runs about what eight nine percent I think it's, uh, what are we doing? Nine We're percent. looking at 9% on this. Wow. Uh, I, I didn't even look at the alcohol before we dove in. Uh, usually alcohol doesn't really uh, play a big part. I mean, we'll, we'll see how well it's hidden and, yeah. and what's going totally. on in the flavor here. So, cheers. Cheers. Wow, definitely caramel in the front with a nice spice at the end. Yeah, it's actually for a 9% beer, I mean, like, Maybe I shouldn't have looked at the alcohol. It doesn't taste like it. Not at all. Um, it's definitely um, you get a lot of the fruit of the grain. Definitely, uh, you know, caramel malt. Not as full bodied as I would think, but the flavors, the the, the peppers do come through mm -hmm. in the uh, in, in the flavor pretty well. And then they not kinda, overpowering. Though. They're not overpowering by any means. And then on the finish, they kind of come back and bite a little bit at the end, which I like that. that I don't like spice beers that are overpowered by the Boy, spice. You yeah. want, you know, I prefer more beer than spice. Yeah, you uh, like beer, to be able to beer over spice, ex exactly. Just a real nice balance. I mean, especially as it warm, starting to warm up a little bit. I think it's getting the mouthfeel is getting a little more full body. The blend of the peppers really go nicely and, and leave a little bit of heat on the back end, but this doesn't kill you like a lot of some uh, a lot of these uh, pepper beers these days are. Um, overspiced in my opinion this one really strikes a nice balance I think that you know the malts in check there's some hop balance there even though the hops in this um, 
are fairly on the low side. There's not a whole lot of bitterness. I think they wanted some of the subtleties to, to shine through the, the spices they used and didn't want to, you know, overpower it with hops. Yeah, the peppers are very showcased throughout that beer with the balance of the alcohol and the uh, caramel flavor, which I pick up a lot of. Yeah, caramel, chocolate, you know, cinnamon, uh, Mexican peppers, uh, mole sauce, um, <laughs> chocolate underlying uh, flavors, a little bit of like chocolate milk almost underneath there, but not as, a little bit. but um, still maintains drinkability, especially at 9%. Um, I would not have guessed that alcohol uh, content tasting this without, you know, seeing, seeing the, the ABV on the bottle, so. Overall, I would I would give this uh, for my palate. I'd I'd, get, I'd give this beer a solid A. In the spice beer, um, it's uh, they did a great job on it. Um, cheers to New Belgium and uh, you need to bring it to your Cinco de Mayo party, man, right here. Yeah, kick it and, off. And uh, that you know, there's there's definitely rumors that New Belgium are moving to Asheville. I hope they're true. Actually, That'd be awesome. uh, you know, there, there's definitely a lot of a lot of buzz flying around. We got, mm -hmm. you know, we got Sierra Nevada moving. Yeah. You know, not far from here in Hendersonville, and uh, rumors of uh, New Belgium being in Asheville. Uh, I think they're supposed to make an announcement on the move um, either uh, this coming up April or May. I think I think they're supposed to make the announcement in April. Kind of middle of April on, on what what they're I think it's either here, Philly. That's what they're saying. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, it would be great to have you know like a lot of these one-off styles more readily available here in uh, totally. in Asheville. And if they if they move the brewery here on the capacity they're talking about, then uh, we'll definitely have a lot more of these type of really cool one-off styles yeah. going on. So. Thanks for tuning in to another Hops and Vines Beer Reviews. Um, again, check us out on YouTube or uh, go to our Facebook page at Hops and Vines. And uh, be sure to give us a like. And uh, we got this in stock right now. I don't know how much longer it's going to last, but uh, come on in and check it out. Remember, we got free beer tastings every Friday night from 5 to 7, hosted by this chum. Hope to pour them. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Hope to Cheers. do another one. See you. Cheers.